children often get stuck in the middle of couples arguing. Tell us a bit about that. I think the real negative impact on children is when they experience a high level of conflictual arguing and they experience a lot of it. It's again the negative to positive balance. The other way in which it's very, it can be harmful to children is when they hear, um, they hear really wounding things going back and forth. And they also then also can feel caught in a loyalty battle. They feel that they are um, having to take sides. They feel um, they have to defend one parent and then they hate the other parent for doing that. And so they end up feeling very angry or very lost. And how damaging is it if they think that they're actually the object of those arguments? One of the things that we have to recognize about children, depending on their age, but almost all children of all ages will have to some degree feel this, is that they are the cause of it. They feel, because they feel they could sort it out, that if they were better or more lovable or didn't cause any problems in the house at all, then their parents' lives would be easier and they would not have the arguing parents that they have. That's particularly true the younger the child, the younger um, children are. But it's true for all children because children are basically egocentric and they feel that family life revolves around them to a large degree they're right. So they would be, it would be very hard put for them to think that they don't have a contribution to this, either well, to make it better or that they're making it worse. Is there anything that parents in this situation could keep in mind to help? There's good arguing and there's bad arguing. And I think couples who manage it well are people who have boundaries around their arguments. So they don't, there are certain things you do not say because if you say them, you can't ever make somebody feel okay about it. You also, um, another, another good arguing strategy is that um, you take time out so that you monitor when you are getting out of control and you actually kind of stay away from the thing that's stimulating you. So you can manage your argument so that the children don't see it getting out of control. You also um, don't have to do your arguing in front of the children. I mean, they often know when the arguments are going on, but if they're right there, it makes them feel part of it and, and feel that they're somehow instrumental in making it better or worse. So you know, arguing, especially heatedly in front of them, is, is a bit risky. Yeah. It's not to say you can't do it, but that it's a bit risky. But also showing them that you make up and, and soothing them through and showing them that it's possible to make up is another way in which children can learn that arguing is not such a terrible thing. But uh, the other thing to be said about good arguing, which is, <laughs> if there's such a thing as good arguing, is that there is another side to the process, which is that you argue and then you think about it and you make amends. Mm. If you don't make amends in some way, the argument never feels that it's finished, that there's anything that you've learned from it. So sometimes couples do it, can do it, do it um, verbally or they can do it non-verbally, but there's usually a step that shows this has been wounding or I've hurt I've thought about something, where there's a coming together. And that couples can do for each other, but also if children are around, somehow showing them that that's been done also helps finish the argument for them. We've talked about the impact of conflict on children. When, when they're a bit older, it's probably when, when it starts to sort of be a little bit more apparent in their lives. Would, they, would you say that's right? Yes. I mean, one of the things that children learn is, you know, how, is, is how to argue or how not to, not to argue, they have models. You, you, you are a model for your child. So it's when children are in relationships themselves, when they're teenagers or beyond, when they're trying out relationships, they employ what they know. And so if they come to a relationship thinking that it's okay to say whatever, that's what they might do. Or they might guard against it by saying, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to argue, because they don't know how to argue. So, and that's no good either. So being a role model for your ch children is an extremely important thing that you only see, in a way, in a sleeper effect by having the children themselves in the relationships.